Hi guys, Jill here, and I have a haul video. Can you believe it? It's a haul video. <laughs> okay, so this is actually, um, I'd say pretty much March into April, and um, might even be a little bit of February. I haven't been buying a lot of stuff because I just I want to avoid clogging up my room. I found that in the stashing, I have become so much more creative. So, um, first of all, thank you guys so much for helping me de-stash. And I got rid of everything except for one thing I forgot was my punches. I have a box of punches and um, it's still listed under the stash. So I have reduced the price from $35 down to $25. So if anyone's interested, go watch that video. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to leave it up there as reduced. I'm not going to do another video. So anyway, let me show you. I have um, bits of stuff from everywhere. So um, let's start with Ranger. I was um, super excited to pick up a few things. Um, part of why I de-stashed was because I got the mini archival ink pads, the Wendy Vecchi color, so I sold my larger ones. I just love to have um, smaller things, less storage space, and um, I have the reinkers for these, so no need to have the larger ones. So I love these little mini sets. I think they're really cute because they mimic the larger ones. So these are great. And then I got, had to try the rose gold embossing powder. And I'm um, sorry, didn't mean to hold it so close. Um, so there we go. I have not tried it yet, but I'm really looking forward to it. I love everything Ranger and I love their embossing powders. Then I got the new Distress Oxides. Um, Bundled Sage is one of my all-time favorite colors. Squeezed Lemonade, and I've already used the Squeezed Lemonade, and it's beautiful. And um, then Evergreen Bow, Tattered Rose, Shaded Lilac, Carved Pumpkin, there's going to be great colors in here for spring. Um, Mermaid Lagoon. I've been hearing great things about Blueprint Sketch. I love this one. Regular. Aged Mahogany. Hickory Smoke. Gathered Twigs. And Forest Moss. So, I, I love the Oxides. I, of course, love my regular ones. And... Um, looking forward to using those. Okay, so um, I've been very inactive on my regular side of things, but I'm on the Art Impressions design team. So um, here's something fun is that they just came out. I know, Hob you know, Hobby Lobby did this big cleanse and um, they came back with some wood stamps and some regular stamps. Well, here are some of the Art Impression wood stamps that they just came out with. Craftiness, which I just love this one. Craftiness equals happiness, and it's with all the friends um, stamping together, all the girlfriends on the wood mount. Then this one is um, Take Life One Cup at a Time, and I think this one's actually called Take Life. Yep, Take Life. And then this one is one of the windows to the world, which I really love working with. And shepherd window and then they have three new clear sets one of them is doggy kisses and then they also have slothsome which i actually have which i will show you is it in my pile i think it's in my actual nope here it is oh my gosh this one oh isn't that adorable? And then they have the baking one, um, which I do not have, but <clears throat> these are adorable. So I have those. And um, then I also, when I was there, they've got 
a bunch of the new Tim Holtz stuff. So I picked up some magnets for the stamp platform, which I actually had picked up. And um, I don't think I showed that in any haul video, but I'm really enjoying that. So I picked up two new magnets. They do have the stamp platform at my Hobby Lobby now. And um, I didn't see it past the one time that I saw it. <laughs> Um, in the basket, but I've never seen it up on the shelves because I'm sure it's gone every time they put it up. Okay, and then I got some gel plate squeegees from Ranger, and um, I just think these would be good for everything in general. And my birthday was the beginning of the month, and my friend Terry is going to get me the um, Tim Holtz media mat as soon as we can find it available at Ranger. And um, so here is the beautiful Anna Griffin card her husband found for me because they know I love Anna Griffin. Isn't that beautiful? And then she also cut me some cards. Sorry, let me try to do that away from the camera. And... Um, so, there are some of these in cream. I believe she cut me eight of each of these, which is always so handy. Some in white. And these with the eyelet along the bottom in cream and white. And these are beautiful linen texture. And she also cut me some of these pretty little dresses. Some. A ton. And, um... I already used one of these cards actually and that was my Tuesday blog post and um, that was on my um, the art impressions as well as my blog which is um, stampyra.blogspot.com and I can post that below if I remember and it came out really cool I love those cards okay so also I'll show you this is a card from one of um, actually Angie who I um, held a D stash for and she sent me this really beautiful card along with the Starbucks gift card which I just thought was really sweet and um, I just thought it was so cute and I wanted to show it to you guys she bought the um, Biggs XL um, dies from me and I thought that was really sweet of her to do that for me and above and beyond so thank you Angie and Okay, so here's some other things that I purchased. Um, I have Michael's, Simon Says Stamp, Amazon. I've just been doing a little here and there. So let me show you Michael's. Of course, I got some um, Sizzix plates. They've been allowing two coupons at a time as long as they're from different places. So I've been using the 60% off that Joann's has been offering as well as the 55 from AC Moore. And so I got some Sizzix plates. And then um, they now have the Uchi Design Motion Crafts. And I got this card. And what it does is it has the little legs and it pulls open. And it reveals the, the spot here. Well, it doesn't just have to be a motion card. But it comes with everything in it. And it comes on the magnet, which is really nice. So it does have the little motion butterfly. But it was really cheap because it started at $30. I got 60% off. Then the girl tried a 25% off coupon on top of it. And it took, I think I got it for like $10, which was amazing. Which I sure seldom happens. But still, 60% off. So it... And there are directions with it. Mine was open and the directions were gone. But you just go to their website and there's a video. But it came with all these dies so you can make a frame. I've used these on cards already. You have the little butterfly die. And this makes that cool card. So, um, hopefully that was a one-time bark. So, and it comes on the magnet, which I think is really nice. Nope. But I do love these motion um, cards. I made a ballerina one. And they have that there, which I paid $12 for. 
they have it for $4.99, and you can use the coupon on it. I got the Owls, which I don't know how well you can see. Again, this was $4.99 before those discounts. I think I got it for like $1.65 or something. So there you have it. So, that was Michael's. And then, Simon Says Stamp. Oh, here was an ink pad I got it. Um, Hobby Lobby for a dollar fifty. Memento bamboo leaves, which is one of my favorites, so I actually got it full size. Okay, so um, from Simon Says Stamp, I did not get a ton of stuff, but I had to try these um, uh, Royal and Langnickel Zen brushes that everyone's been using. They're less expensive. What it is, is I needed the number eight brush, and I ha I've been using the silver brushes as well as my um, brush that we use for the Art Impressions watercolor series. I love this brush, and um, but sometimes I just want something bigger for backgrounds and such. So I was going to get the number eight. Um, and it's like $25. And I was like, no. So I looked at these on Simon Says Stamp. And I think this one was $5 and similar price. And these were $2.99. So I went to get them all. And I forgot to get the six, which I'll get again. I'll go back and get it. But anyway, so I got these. They were super cheap. I love them. I absolutely love them. So... Um, I've used these two at this point. Did not use the one I went to get. And um, I really, really enjoy them. Excuse me a moment. <laughs> Boy, we've got all the noises going on on this video. Okay, so I picked up some 3D foam squares just for those times when I need foam squares. Want to be quick as opposed to using an entire roll of foam tape from, um, you know, to cut down everything. I got the little heart. Um, let's see. I think it's the falling hearts. Yep. Falling heart stencil. I picked up the sugar glitter paste from Bow Bunny. I have the silver one and it's gorgeous. I did this card with the silver one in the background and just some um, Tim Holtz dots and I absolutely love how that background came out so I had to pick up that one. I picked up a few Nouveau drops finally. Getting with the times here. And I got Wedgwood Blue. Uh, 